Hello everybody, I'm Brittany from AJ and Smart. I'm here in Copenhagen, Denmark on our Design Sprint Training Nordic Tour. It's very exciting. We're doing the Design Sprint Training with Jake Knapp, who invented the Design Sprint and wrote that lovely book that maybe some of you have read. Um, so I thought I would just give you a behind the scenes look at what one of our trainings actually entails. Um, also, before I get started, I'm gonna do a nice little walk around Copenhagen because it's really nice out. The sun is shining, it's beautiful. wasn't enough of Jake um, and I totally understand this so my goal today is to get to know Jake just a little bit better Let's see how I do <laughs> how's that for you huh up close and personal <laughs> thanks to me you're welcome So we're about halfway through the design sprint training and I am learning a lot about this Jake fella. Um, he has created this design sprint all from basically frustration with the way people were working in his office, the way that calendars were laid out, the way that he, all of his meetings were scheduled and just how quickly he got things done. He found it really, really frustrating. And this is kind of a really cool story that he tells about uh, when he went actually to Stockholm for one week and decided to work really, really intensely with his team. And this is kind of where all of the design sprint uh, process sort of blossomed from was from this one week where they didn't do anything except for work on one project and that project was Google meeting which apparently is still used in uh, in amongst the Googlers uh, can I call them Googlers I'm pretty sure that's what they call themselves it's almost as if I'm a Googler myself Oh, I don't think so. Now, another cool thing that was just brought up in the other room is um, the word design, because of course it's one of the words in the title of Design Sprint. Um, now, the word design though, um, as Jake was just sort of discussing, is that you're not really designing per se. And this can kind of throw people for a bit of a loop uh, when they, you know, maybe first hear about the design sprint, they think, oh, that's not for me. Um, it's really actually about problem solving. Um, and that's why it's so perfect for anybody who's in business of any sort, anybody who uh, manages a team. It's about solving problems, making decisions, and doing it fast and efficient. So maybe the name is not the best. Jake, did you hear that? Hey. All right, Jake. All right. Oh, oh put, there oh, we there are. There we go. <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle. <laughs> um, this, the, today's vlog was themed Jake Knapp. Wow. Feel sorry, honored? sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. You did a great job. Okay. So I have just a couple questions to wrap up right. for this Let's one. Do it. Let's do it. First question is, because we all have an answer to this question, I feel. Okay. What is your favorite part of the sprint? Um, well, I guess I have two answers. One is just really like being in the sprint is my favorite part. Because it's, I mean, you're, when, you're in, when you're in the sprint, you know you're doing what's important. You know yeah. you're doing the important work. Yeah, that's And that true. feels so good. It feels so good to be focused on what's important. But the, the day when I'm just like loving yeah, it is when Thursday. Building the prototype. Actually, I really enjoy just putting the headphones on, focusing, and getting something done. And then at the end of the day, saying like, I finished the prototype. I don't know, I'm a little really bit surprised by that answer. That's I know. Cool. I yeah. know. I'm like Mr. Facilitator guy, but yeah, um, yeah. And I like that stuff, but I really, I do enjoy making a prototype. Yeah, fair enough. It's a fun. Uh, I mean, I've never made a prototype, so okay. I feel like I can't yeah. talk to that. But I would imagine. You it would imagine fun. how much you would like design sprints. Yeah. If you did. Yeah. Next time you should. Yeah. I should try it. I should try it. And the second thing I want to ask you is, what do you think? If there were like one thing that you could say makes the ultimate design sprint, what would that be? Oh, it's. You know, it's like, 
it kind of is related to the other one. It's this feeling of togetherness with the team. It's like you feel like you're doing something important yeah. and you can recognize your colleagues' skills. Like you're in the room and you're like, oh, like that idea is really smart and like yeah. your like criticism of it is really good and yeah. you build a prototype and you're like, God, you did a great job. Like it's it's cool. It's like it a lot of times really we, cool. we yeah. don't get to see what each other do and we don't get to see the reflection of like our own passion for the project in our work. So when that happens in a sprint and it often does, like that's the best. That's yeah. what makes it great. And I can see, you know, beforehand you were saying like I might ask you what was your favorite sprint and it was hard for me to answer because there's so many because that that like you need harmony that. happens yeah. quite often. It's really it's You're really such soft. a softie, Jake. I'm a softie, I'm a I'm sentimental. Bit of a softie at heart. Okay, yeah. thank you so much yeah. for I mean yet another amazing oh, design we, we sprint. Did training. A high five great. That was a I wasn't even focusing yeah. on the elbow and that's Jake's yeah. trick. Oh, uh, yeah. High five with the elbow. God, I hope I didn't cut off your whole face the entire time. You probably did. That's probably better for everybody. <laughs> Our design sprint training one day. Jake Knapp, amazing, incredible workshop. Knapp time. How was it? It was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah really good. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you because I'm always so curious about this. If there were one thing that you could take away from the workshop and actually like apply, because Ross, I don't know if you knew this, he's running design sprints like a crazy person. He loves it. Loves a design sprint. Oh yeah. So what would, what would you what would you take away if you took away anything? Yeah, so I, I think the, the there was uh, a certain part where we we said the decision maker you're not needed now, and um, you know that that was a nice part to understand that it's the skills in the room that really make the difference, and then at the end they kind of assess whether this is a good target to hit. Um, but other than that, it was just great to kind of fanboy over the. The, the guys and uh, Ross is a really follower. Awesome. He follows um, us on on Instagram and podcasts, YouTube and stuff in the podcast. YouTube. We took we were just like we went all in on Ross. We took him. <laughs> we took him as ours. <laughs> so uh, why, uh, as a design sprint fanatic like ourselves, why uh, why do you like using the design sprint? Like, what draws you to it? What is the advantage? Yes, so uh, I don't want to work another way. I love every week having a new challenge and at the end of it you kind of finish it off and that's what I love about the design sprint every week. Yeah. It's like a new project and uh, for me that likes change, that really gels. The actual, like yeah, the, the project completion is such a huge thing for people. You can it's have great. a beer on a Friday and feel like you've really done some good work. Yeah. The problem is for us it's like every week we're like having a lot of beers on Friday. <laughs> you know, we're like, yeah, That's we not did a it problem. again. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for chatting with me, Ross. No worries. Okay, you guys. I'm here with Steph Cochon. Ooh. Yeah, like, good. I can I can pronounce things in French. Yeah, exactly. Um and I was just wondering, so Steph here actually does what we do uh, with a smaller team at the moment. But, yeah, uh, but, we are, we, but we are you're skating. catching up fast. Exactly. Yeah. But I wanted to ask because this is really interesting because we have a lot of people here today who are running sprints regularly. Steph here has been running sprints for four years. Just wondering, like, um, what you took away from today, if anything at all. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I think one of the, be, the the best discoveries, like, you know, even after the, the three years running sprints in a lot of companies, I have learned a lot today. Uh, it's great to see the way you have updated the process too. Uh, and yeah, it's also what I'm trying to do is to update the, the process. Uh, awesome, that's so fantastic. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, cool. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, do we get that? Cheers. And, and it was a really good uh, design sprint boot camp. Uh, really good. The only problem is that a little bit too much of Jake, not enough of Jonathan. <laughs> Loser. Can I go? Zoom. I'm zooming in on him slowly. <laughs>